and I thought you were going to make cards appear there from your hand. I'm gonna be honest. No, that, that's, that would have been pretty a little exciting. bit disappointed. I think the whole room's a little bit disappointed there. Uh, all right, ready? Three. Oh, I did it right there. Ace, 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 ace. <laughs> that's insane. It is. Stop it. We don't need it. All right, enough. Let's get to it. Can we please? Where'd it go? Where did it go? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, joining us now from his house. He has an incredible fan on the ceiling in the background. There's four lights on it, but that is not the biggest light that this man has stepped in front of in his life. You've seen him on America's Got Talent where he plays third, should have been first. You've seen him on the Ellen DeGeneres show numerous times. He's a friend of the show. He was on the Philadelphia Eagles for like 45 years as a long snapper. I was very lucky to befriend the man. He's his life is one that's both inspiring, incredible, and to be honest, only getting started. Uh, for the brand man, magician, both with cards and in life, John Dorenbaugh. Gosh, dang, man. Hey, can, can you travel around with me with that intro? Well, you know, I, I was obsessed with just that, right? And this goes back to learning magic. It was this idea of doing something over and over again until it looks absolutely maybe good enough, maybe perfect, but it's in search of that perfect rep every single time. This is this is the thing in life that I love. Like when I was a snapper, I loved to go practice punt, you know, uh, punt and field goal. And, and field goal for me more because there was a little bit of kind of like uh, touch to it. There's a little bit more art, if you will, to it. There's a little bit more precision. But the idea of doing something over and over and over and over in search of a perfect rep, just to be able to do something, anything, it doesn't matter. And make it look cool. Sometimes you mess up, sometimes you don't. But it isn't necessarily the exact move. It's it's the process of getting to it. It's the it's the journey of it. It's it's you're always in search of a perfect rep, and whether you find it or not, at times is almost irrelevant. But what you learn about yourself, the resiliency, all that is to me what came into it. Do you got time for probably my favorite trick of all time? Yes, it's one of my favorites of all time. So uh, here's the deal: uh, we're gonna take a pencil and a dollar. Now this is this is something I learned as a kid. And uh, it's this idea that you could take a pencil and go right through the center and just kind of like bicep. Uh, it's, I don't know if they, can the camera see that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if oh, it, yeah. it's off a little bit. Yeah, we can see but it. Check, okay, cool. Check this out. Uh, I learned this trick when I was a kid. And what's ironic about this is when I was a kid and I was learning magic, it was kind of a time when my life was kind of upside down. And with all seriousness, uh, I, I love the idea of tearing things and putting them back together because that's what I was doing with my life right? Things were getting torn apart and I needed to put myself back together. So I love this. And, and hopefully you can hear this, but listen, and just as good as new. Now to me, that was gold. Now check this out. A, a lot of people, they, they see this trick and, and, and the ears kind of fool them, right? Because uh, they think that they hear the bill rip, which is, which is cool. Um, I got a buddy, or I got a magician that I'm a fan of. His name is Shoot Ogawa. He's a Japanese coin magician. Oh, yeah. The dude's off the chain. And so I wanted to learn this trick. Uh, he showed me a little bit about it, and uh, I would call him, and it, this is actually funny, he'd be in Japan, and I would leave a voicemail, and I'd be like, ah, oh, he wouldn't answer, it was like 3 in the morning, right? He wouldn't answer, and ah, shoot! Got it, because that's his name. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> yeah, 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 he, he Agawa. So, so check this out. Uh, this time, it's not going to, you're, you're not going to hear it. Uh, you can just set it in the center, and watch this, man, this is amazing. And you don't actually hear it, but you'll see it go right through the middle. And that's just as good as new right there, man. I've loved this trick since I was a kid. And that right there, man. Mm. Boom. And if you need a transition, how about that? Bam. How? But how did he do that? Like, how? He just took a Ticonderoga number two, Matt Patricia pencil, and he just put it right through a dollar bill two times. One hot dog wise, one uh, hamburger wise, if you know what I'm talking, portrait landscape. Just right there in front of her face, right in front of the camera. It makes no sense, John. It makes no absolutely no sense what you do. John, I can't thank you enough for joining us. The magic was incredible. Check that out on YouTube. Follow him at John Dornboss. He doesn't have an H in John. It's just J-O-N. Uh, you're an incredible long snapper. Incredible long snapper. I got to catch one of your balls at the Pro Bowl. You're incredible. Your magic was sobering. It was enlightening. It was incredible. The world gets to see it. And if they get a chance to go see you on tour, they need to do it because we got to see you in person and it was an electric thing. And today, I can't thank you enough, brother. I appreciate you. Oh, man, love you guys. Thank you. Hey, don't sue us for you being the A. No, I won't, but now I'm going to totally look at this. And, and 
debate what I need to do because you just blew my mind right now. Well, you blew, mind. You blew our minds in this conversation. Lucky to have you. <laughs> All right, enough, enough <laughs> with <laughs> See you later. Hey, Pat. Yeah. I love you, baby. I'm out. I love you too, man. See you.